Hey everyone, welcome to the Pod Tips Brazil channel. And in today's video I'm going to show you how you can insert vintage and distressed effects into your text and image designs. I will show you this process, step by step, using Photopea, which is an online and free software. Watch this video and see how simple it is to make your design more attractive for print-on-demand business and for Redbubble or Merch by Amazon. First, find Photopea on Google and create a new project. I suggest using dimensions of 4,500 pixels wide by 5,400 pixels high. I also suggest using black color as a background, so that a white design becomes more evident. In the template, create your design with text and image. In this example, I'm going to create a very common type of design on Redbubble, but which is always very successful in all pod niches. Eat, sleep, fly the plane, repeat. This will be the example design for this video. First, look at this design in a Redbubble mockup without the distressed and vintage effect. So you can see the before and after of the applied effect. Let's now apply the effect to the design. Download the filter file I am giving you. This file is in the description of this video. Now, let's open this PNG file in Photopea. Go to the File tab, and then to the Open and Place function. Place the filter layer above the design layer. First, you need to enable the image transformation. Right-click on the design layer and then, use the rasterize function. Now, hold the control button, and click on the white rectangle in the filter layer. See that, the selection has been activated. Now, select the design layer and then click the delete button. Now, go to the select tab, and then click the deselect function. Select the filter layer and delete it. See that distressed and vintage effect is all over the design. If you want that effect more intense, just repeat the process with the filter over this new design. Now, just hide the black background and then, go to the file tab and the export as PNG function. With this PNG file, you can now upload it to Redbubble. See this design in a Redbubble mockup. See that, the distressed and vintage effect makes the design more attractive. Important tip. If you want to do this over a text design, you need to convert the text to an editable image before inserting the filter effect. To do this, just select the text layer and then right-click on that layer and choose the rasterize function. Only after this step should you insert the filter effect on the design. I hope this design tip will be helpful to you. I wish you success on Redbubble and in your pod journey.